a left hook, a right uppercut, all thrown with bad intentions by a man who once induced nothing but chaos into the heavyweight division, a fighter like no other, a fighter who made his mark dispatching opponent after opponent in blistering fashion. Oh, wow. He was a really, really hard puncher. I mean, but the, the what, what made it the, the explosion, though, was his speed. His speed was better than any other heavyweight I've ever worked with. Bringing us some of the most unforgettable nights in boxing and becoming a figure of respect for all heavyweights of today, Iron Mike certainly laid down the blueprint of how not to be average. Deep trouble is in deeper trouble as the left hook sends him down. And being labeled boxing's most notorious puncher right up until this day, hard to see Mike for anything less than one of the sport's most exciting and dangerous men. How dare them even to challenge me in these fighters, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? With their primitive boxing skills, you know what I mean? They're as good as dead. So if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons and turn on notifications as we take a look at boxers before and after entering the ring with Mike Tyson. Looking back nearly three decades, Tyson entered HBO's Hard Road to Glory tournament, a tournament which gave a chance for the division's best to fight for the undisputed crown, landing all three world belts. And after dominating Trevor Burbick two fights prior, led to a showdown with former IBF champion Pinklin Thomas. I want to perform because the last fight, uh, uh, the Tyson and um, uh, Bone Crusher fought was a waltz. And um, I don't plan to do the walls. With size, speed, and a heavy jab, it was Thomas that entered the bout with the majority of attributes. However, with Tyson being much more agile and physically stronger out of both men, it wasn't long till things took a turn for the worse for Thomas. Thomas is in all kinds of trouble. Still 30 seconds to go in the round. Making it out of the first, Thomas managed to survive another four rounds of clinching and jabbing. That was all until a single shot in the sixth changed the night entirely. And a right hand behind him. Thomas in trouble again. And now Tyson moves in for the kill. Two uppercuts to the left hand. Thomas trying to hold on. Serious trouble. And down he goes. It's over. It is over. Thomas did not make it by the count of ten. It's my pleasure to give you a shot at the title. Oh, you deserve it. Answer the question, brother. Three fights later, Atlantic City held one of boxing's most notorious heavyweight showdowns between Tyson and heavyweight legend Larry Holmes. But it wasn't just the two names that captured fans' attention, but the infamous history of Holmes defeating Ollie eight years prior that Mike had sworn to avenge since. If they want to make him out of a beast that he's claimed to be, he's going to be in there with a beast. I'm an experienced, professional fighter. I am no kid. I do not play. So if he wants to fight any way he wants to fight, I am capable of fighting any way anybody wants to fight. And even after all the below-the-belt comments at the press conference from Holmes, it had been almost two years since he even stepped foot in a ring after previous defeats to Michael Spinks. Tyson quickly on top of Holmes and he nails him right away. Yet despite his brazen claims, Holmes struggled keeping Mike at distance, showing a complete lack of control throughout the bout. Not knowing what to do next and clinching for the next two following rounds only gave Mike more confidence and in turn led to a brief moment in the fourth that had started what appeared to be the beginning of the end. Oh, a big right hand and down goes the former champion. He was there running right the button. He's going to hang on and he'll stop the fight. Down he goes. He is knocked out. A vicious, vicious right hand ends the career of the former I got up, I thought I slept, I got up, he hit me again, knocked me down, I got up again, I thought, shit, I'm going to get him now. <laughs> Five months forward, a legitimate opponent, Michael Spinks, was next on the hit list. 
a fight in which at the time became the richest fight in history. With both men entering the fight undefeated and determined to be king of the division, gave a distinctive aura of possibility and anticipation around the event. It's more to, to boxing than, than just hitting and knocking them down. I mean, the, the average guy would go down quick uh, due to the fact that he don't want to take an enormous amount of punishment. Yeah. But you run to some guys that say, well, you know, I think there's a chance, yeah. like myself. So, I do think that this fight will be decided by two things. How Michael Spinks can deal with the extreme pressure that Tyson puts on a fighter. Go, and let's secondly, go, let's go. what happens when Tyson hits him? But it clearly wasn't meant to be for Spinks that night, as just moments into the first proved Tyson to be all too much for the people's champ. Let's keep moving because every shot. Oh, Uppercut that's... landed inside and Spinks went down. Spinks has ever been down in a professional fight. And he's down again and in serious trouble. A right hand right on the chin. He's not going to make it. It's all over. Now we know why Butch Lewis wasn't anxious for Michael Spinks to fight Mike Tyson in the Unification Series. I, uh, I thought after getting hurt with a shot that he would try to press, try to press me. So I thought I'd catch him coming in and instead I shot my load and he, and he, uh, he stepped back and caught me with a good, a good shot and uh, that's when it stopped the fight. 35 wins later, a new kind of opponent came knocking on the door. Britain's number one heavyweight contender, Frank Bruno, a fighter who carried a lot of similarity to Tyson in the power and publicity department. People are saying you, you don't stand much of a chance to you know, Obviously, you disagree. I disagree because I wouldn't be going in there if I didn't stand much of a chance. People are entitled to say what they want to say, but I know this is the big time to beat a Mike Tyson. But with the first bell sounding, the destructive nature and ferocity of Mike appeared to be one task too much for the Brit on the night. Big left hook there from Tyson. Bruno hits the floor for a right to the head. Seemingly by the fifth, Bruno had already been broken down. After landing several heavy combinations during the last 20 seconds, gave the referee no choice but to call it a day. And Bruno is big trouble now. It's all over. Still 22 years of age, and Frank Bruno, well, that's his world title dream shattered. I think the pinnacle of my career was all my fights, to be quite honest, even the ones I lost even against um, Bang, Grasher Smith, Tim Witherspoon, Mike Tyson, and Alex Lewis, all of them are pinnacle. Mm. You know what I mean? To me, you know, sometimes you've got to lose before you win. Fast forward another five months, and it was the turn of Carl Williams, another competitor who had managed to redeem himself back to the front line, and one who was already known for having felt the power of Tyson, but under completely different circumstances. He, he jumped on me that particular day, gave me a bloody nose and everything. You know, I was a little, um, he shook me up because I was a professional with seven, eight fights. And I was saying to myself, oh my God, I gotta let this amateur come in the gym and do this to me. So I got very angry that night. I went home and thought about it. And the very next day, <laughs> The very next day, I came in the gym with a different attitude towards him. I went into the ring and I busted him up. But shockingly enough, it was only 93 seconds that Mike needed to land his second fastest title fight victory since beating Michael Spinks earlier on in his career. understand what the referee's question when he he says he said was up. Yeah. my hands was up when the referee said I put my hands up like this there I was ready to go he just said no nah, you know I don't know you know I don't know what the I don't know what the hell happened billed as the fight of the year Tyson's first clash with Canadian star Donovan Ruddick was surely going to be an attempt to get back into the mix of heavyweight contention after not long coming off an upset loss to Buster Douglas the year before and if successful, a bout that would automatically place the winner into a matchup with Evander Holyfield for a mega showdown. You know something, I'm not even gonna um, dignify that with a hand. You know I'm not dignify that with a hand, because I'm gonna bring myself down to your level. There's something you can't buy in that class, and you don't got none of that. You're sweet. 
I'm gonna make sure you kiss me good with those big lips. With heated exchanges from the opening bell, it was clear that Ruddick wasn't going down easy as a fast-paced first round went underway. However, what turned out to be not quite the fight everyone had expected certainly had controversy and bad blood written all over it from start to finish. After Ruddick managing to overcome both knockdowns in the early stages and merely surviving thereon, a controversial stoppage late in the seventh stirred up quite a reaction from both teams. And last on our list, what was probably one of Mike's most satisfying victories of his career as he faced the brash talking Irish hurricane, Peter McNeely. I'm Hurricane Peter McNeely from Medfield, Mass. On Saturday night, watch me kick Tyson's ass. But if you haven't made your pay-per-view arrangements yet, make them soon. Because remember what happens when I wrap you in my cocoon. And although being his first fight since his prison release, an insanely quick start knocking down McNeely early in the first showed that the ring rust hasn't set in just yet. Momentarily later gaining a second knockdown on the round caused what looked to be yet another controversial stoppage, but this time not coming from the hands of the referee. Uh, you know, bl blinding speed and the speed with power is a, just a bad combination. 